Diamond Dallas Page. <laughs> I first met Dallas about eight years ago when he came to train here at the studio, actually when we were on Melrose. And I was a mark for Dallas. Wrestling fans, you know what a mark is? I grew up watching wrestling. I knew who Dallas was when he came to the studio and that surprised him. Dallas started in the technique class and he worked his way all the way through to the master class here. And then he went back and took technique again. That's who Dallas is. Dallas has this program, YRG, which he had been telling me about for years, and I'd been listening about for years. Dallas came to me with the infomercial for YRG, and I watched it, and it moved me to tears, and I was inspired, a little bit more than just inspired to be inspired. And I said, Dallas, I think I could do this. And he said, okay, I'll tell you what. I'm not gonna call you. When you're ready, you call me. And I went and I got my book and I said, I'm making that call right now. On April 17th, Dallas and Angela Cole, where's Angela? Stand up, Angela. The brilliant Angela Cole came to my house to do a pantry raid. And they went through all the cupboards and got rid of all the gluten and all the wheat and all the dairy. And then we went shopping, the three of us. They are not inconspicuous, these two. <laughs> and the three of us, we looked like the monsters out shopping. <laughs> Back to my house, Dallas took me to work out and Angela took over the kitchen. I couldn't do anything in the workout. You see, I wasn't the kid who got picked last in gym. I didn't take gym. <laughs> I got out of it by doing work for the gym teachers. So that's what we were dealing with. Dallas is not a fitness guru. He is a life guru. He is a game changer. Now push up. Three, two, you got that? Oh, wow. <laughs> you got that. Right. Now I'm going to take you a step farther. If you ever thought, or I ever thought, I would exercise in my life on a regular basis, not going to happen. I go to the gym, I pick up the weight, it's heavy, I put it down. <laughs> so no. So I did the first workout with Dallas, and he connected the mind and the body in a way that I've never experienced and I liked it. I then went to the kitchen, which was smelling amazingly beautiful, and Angie had made all this food. Anyway, I ate all this amazing food, did the workout, and the next day, skeptical, I got on the scale. He told me not to, but I got on the scale, and a pound lighter. Anyway, that was April 17th, the day my life changed. I have been doing those workouts every day. I'm 21 pounds down. But between Angie and Dallas, I feel better. Dallas, of course, makes you go to the doctor and get all the tests. So the next day, I had a workout with Dallas, and I said, Dallas, do you realize what you and Angie have done for me? You literally pulled me out of a burning building. I mean, you literally have saved my life. And he looked and he thought about it and he goes, wow, severely anemic, huh? Celiac, wow. And then he got a big smile and a glint in his eye and he goes, bro, imagine how much harder you're going to be able to work when you feel better. <laughs> and those of you who know Dallas know that is the truth. <laughs> Dallas does not like whiners. <laughs> because he, in his own story, which he'll tell you, he's about defying the odds. And this man lives it. And he is one of the most authentically good human beings on the planet. Let me introduce my really good friend and my guru, Diamond Dallas Page. Guess what if I take his jacket off? No. no. Cool. <laughs> oh! 
Oh, you don't think Howard Fine had his sleeves cut off under his jacket? <laughs> hey, Howard, come on up here for one second. Who's willing to put their name on the line for you? That's serious. See, that's what Howard did by bringing me in here for the second time. And anytime anybody puts their name on the line for me, I never forget it. And that's why I'm built here and thank them. And God, give me a hug. <laughs> hey, where, where you going? <laughs> I'm not going to give you the diamond. Curtis, lose the jacket. Take it. Got a camera right there. There's a good picture of this. Get the new light. Get over here. Pump that gun up, brother. Pump it up. Yeah. Okay? I gotta tell you before he goes, I gotta tell you, I'm so proud of this guy. I'm so proud of him. You gotta understand. <laughs> Twins separated at birth. You, you gotta understand, when Howard first started working with me, he couldn't do a push-up on his knees. You know, the girl push-ups. Okay? Couldn't do one on his knees. So you know what we did? We adapted. And he held the position. And when it was time, he lowered. You see, in YRG, we do warrior push-ups, where you go down for three seconds, you hold for three seconds, you push up for three seconds. You come down for three seconds, you hold for three seconds, then you go through the next movement. So it took time. But he worked at it, and he worked at it, and he worked at it. Work ethic equals results. And before you knew it, Howard, was not only doing a push-up, he was doing it off his knees. He was doing a three-second push-up. Then he got to a five. And then one day, he hit the 10. Look at the face age. I don't think they believe us. If you guys, if you guys want to see how fine do a YRG warrior win. If you want to see it, I want to hear a hell yeah. Okay, hey, you ready? Ready to rock and roll? Let's go. Let's do it, man. Get down. We're going to lower. And lower. Ten. Nine. Slow down. Fine. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And hold. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Now push up slow. Fine. Ten. Count with us. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Second in you? Please. <laughs> Throw it in the curveball. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Push it, Howard. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah! I took some of the basic principles of yoga. And I blended together elements of strength conditioning, Pilates, and mixed martial arts. Now, now I had an all-in-one workout that was going to give me an intense cardio workout with no impact on my body. Increased flexibility and strength conditioning. And I called it YRG. Think of it like this. If yoga was a bicycle, YRG would be a Harley. sleeps, eats, and dreams everything you hear him say. He is the real deal. I thought it was just so touching to see the video of his transformation to where he thought he couldn't even walk. And then instead of just walking, he was running. I just I just started crying and I thought this is the most amazing thing I've, I've seen in, in a long time. You kicked me in the butt when I needed it, man. You told me what I needed to do. You told me that I could do it and you made me realize that I had to do it. The other day I found myself wondering, where's my, where are my crutches at? We can make out of our lives whatever we want. 